Okay, so in this video, we are going to look at how to load the bulk sample with audio directly from your phone. So you are going to need the bulk sample, of course. You are going to need a phone. Uh, the phone must have a physical headphone jack built in, and if it doesn't, then you'll need the adapter to give it one. And you will need your standard stereo audio cable that should be TRS to bring sleeve on both ends. So to start with we need to record some audio onto the phone. Uh, so you can use pretty much any app that records audio. A lot of phones come with uh, a built-in voice memo app that should work fine. Uh, we can use BandLab. Um, I'm going to use this specific program called Audio Lab because it has a few benefits that just makes this process a little easier. Uh, so if you, if you have an Android phone, uh, Audio Lab is a great option here. Okay, so tons of options here. I'm going into Record Audio. And now um, what makes this nice is that you can, right now we can set all these settings in the way that the Volca sample likes, so we don't have to convert things or mess with it later. So yeah, we're going to use it as music, uh, source, default that's going to be the microphone, uh, which is what we want. Okay, um, so the sample only supports mono, so we might as well just record in mono. And then the sample rate that the Volca sample likes is this one, the 32 hertz, 32,000 hertz, that one. And then yes, wave is the audio format that we want. And that's it, the rest of these you can leave default. So this right here, mono channel, 32,000 hertz, wave, that is the format that the Volca sample likes. So if you record in that right away, it just makes things easier. Um, but there are reasons to record in a higher quality if maybe you're going to use it for something else later. But up to you. Okay, so now I will hit start. So here's my recording space, so I'm not actually recording yet. And then uh, so it tells me also down here at the bottom how long I have, which is great. So keep in mind that the Volca sample only supports 65 seconds uh, worth of audio. So there's no point in making big, long recordings. We should just make small, short, tight little recordings that are easy to load on here. So uh, what I'm going to record is this harmonica, because I think that'll be fun. And I'm not great at it, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start recording and just uh, basically my what I'm going to do is start recording, play a note on the harmonica, and then stop recording. And that's going to uh, just give me a nice small little file, and that's what we want. So let's just start with that. There we go. And then you see the scissors here. We can cut the file. So there we go. So there's my recording. So you can do stuff here like trim, uh, you know, trim the silence part of it, all that. Um, which is definitely helpful. So I'm just dragging this back and forth to get rid of some of the silence at the end. And similarly, this one here at the top, you can kind of change your start point. There you go. So that's known as trimming your sample, and definitely it, uh, it's going to help. Because we don't want to waste space with empty sound, right? There's such limited space on here. We want our, our samples to be just the sound we care about without a lot of silence around it. So I get my points where I want them, and I hit trim. There we go. Now we have just that little file. You can also do stuff like um, you know fade it in and out if you want to. Uh, you can add a section of silence in the middle. You know, there's all kinds of things you can do, but we don't need to do that here. So that's all I wanted to do. Now I'll hit save. There we go. So there's my little sample, my little audio file. All right, um, and I'm going to record a few other ones as well, just so we have uh, some some more things to load on here. So I'm going to hit the check mark to be done with that. It tells you where it saves it. That's fine. And now I'll just do that process again. So record audio. All right, those same settings. There we go. Start. OK. Let's go in. Oops. It's my screen recording program here. Let's go in and trim that, same process, get my start point, my end point, and trim, save, okay, so 
So there's my second little file. It tells me where it puts it. And uh, let's do two more. Some nice vibrato in that one. So start point, end point, trim, save. See, it goes pretty. Goes pretty quick, right? There we go. And let's get one more. And same steps again. Trim. Save. Okay, perfect. Save that one. There it is. Okay, so now I've got my four little, uh, four little recordings in there. And uh, if you hit the little music icon up here, uh, you can see them here, right? Audio Lab recording those ones, and they should have uh, the date. Um, so, if I hit the first one, it's just going to keep playing down the list. Okay, so there's my four sounds. Okay, uh, so now I can exit out of Audio Lab. Don't need it anymore. And now we're going to open up Caustic Editor. Alright, and Caustic, I'm going to turn it this way now. So Caustic is a program specifically for managing samples on the Volca sample. So probably when you first load this up, it'll all be empty. I already have one in here, which I'm going to get rid of right now. Okay, so I'm going to go in here, the little uh, squiggly waveform icon. That gets you into this screen. Then you hit load. You find your recording. Okay. Preview it if you're not sure what it is. Load it up. Now here it is. I can play it. Okay, now uh, you can do other things to mess with it in here if you want, uh, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Hit done, and so there's my first recording. Now do the same for all the, the other ones. So let's go down to the next one in the list. Done. Okay, so now I have my four samples here. They're loaded into slots zero through three. All right. um, and down here at the bottom you see it says memory 15% full, so this is estimating that based on the size of these samples I'm going to take up 15% of the total storage space on my Volca sample. All right. So keep that in mind, audio recordings, they take up quite a bit of space. You're, not going to be able to, you're probably not going to be able to fill up all 99 slots if you're doing recordings like this. You, you'll probably only fill up you know, maybe 10 or something, and that's fine. Okay, so these are all now ready to transfer over to the Volca sample. So, plug our audio cable into your headphone jack. Make sure your volume is all the way up on your phone. It's also a really good idea to turn on airplane mode because you don't want to have any distractions. Uh, you don't want to have any notification sounds pop up during this transfer that will cause it to fail. So, airplane mode, highly recommended. Okay, then we're gonna plug the other end into the sync in port on the bulk sample and power if you need it. Turn that on. There we go. So um, this will only transfer, so this little, uh, the little arrows toggle, that's saying like, yes, I want this to transfer. So obviously it's not going to transfer any empty slots. So in this case, I'm only transferring these four samples, right? But it will override what's already in that, in those four slots, right? So you want to make sure that you're putting it into a slot that you don't care about, right? So, okay, so there's that. And I should, uh, you can also, by the way, hit the little red X if you want to delete some other slots, right? Or in this menu, there's the clear all samples that will just delete everything uh, from the Volca sample, giving you a blank slate. And of course, Refort, Restore Factory Samples does what you think it does. So in this case, I'm fine with just transferring those ones. Uh, what you may also find, since these are so long, is that when you try to um, transfer it, you'll have an error on the screen here. It'll say error full. That's because based on all the other samples you have in your device, uh, there's not enough room. 
So you may need to delete more of these, you know, scroll down here, figure out what you want to delete. You may need to delete some while you're doing this, but we'll see. So for now, I'm just going to sync it. It's going to tell you, yes, do that. Start, and there it goes. And yeah, it's a bit of a slow process. You can see three something minutes, three and a half minutes. And you see on the focus sample screen here, it'll blink whatever sample slot it's currently transferring into. So right now it's blinking sample slot zero, right? And then once that one, once this operation one finishes, that'll move to sample slot one. And you see this thing is like a progress bar for that particular sample slot. And okay, see now it's saying error full, even though I've only uh, done two of them. So as soon as it's saying error on this, you can cancel it here. It's not going to do anything. Okay, so I transferred my first two, and then it threw an error saying it's already full. Well, that's because I already have so many other samples loaded on here that there wasn't enough space for all of these. So uh, the function button here, the blinking one, that will get you out of that error mode. So um, I can say, well, okay, maybe I'm happy with just having two samples, but if I want to get the rest, uh, what I'm going to do is actually just wipe this whole thing clean. Uh, again, you may not want to do that. What you may want to do is go through and figure out and say, like, okay, maybe I want to just clear out, you know, these particular sample slots or whatever. You can do that. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to erase the whole thing. Come on. There we go. So clear all samples. All right, same process, start. This goes pretty quick compared to anything else because it's just telling it to delete all. There we go, so it's done. Okay, and now, fortunately, I have to load my samples again. But I know, at least I know where they are now. Okay, so there's my four samples, and it should be ready to go. This should be totally blank now, so I should have all the space I need. Cool, there we go. So anytime it says end on the screen, rejoice, that means it worked. Press the blinking button to get you back into regular mode. Another little thing here, if I immediately tr start trying to mess with it, uh, like if I hit the sequencer, it won't play. That's because anytime you have something plugged into the sync in port and there's not an actual sync signal present, the sync would, sequencer just refuses to play. So just unplug this, all right, I can also, uh, turn my phone off, or in this case, I want to stop my screen recording. Stop. Great. Um, and now we should be able to play back those sounds. So again, they were in sample slots zero through three, right? So my first one should be here. And then, so I'll say my second one. Set that to that one. Make sure your start point and your length are set to their default values. Start point should be zero, length should be 127. I'm still not hearing it. Okay, so it was my decay knob. <laughs> so for that particular part, it had the decay way down. So yeah, you may have to mess with it, mess with your various knob settings here before you can hear whatever your sample is, just depending on what you have set there. Okay, so now for my third part, I want that to be slot, sample slot two. There we go, so I can hear that's cutting off real quick. So probably my length or something is down. So for me, it's it's been this decay knob each time. There we go. Oh, my loop is on there.
Okay. So now I got my four little guys there. Okay, so now um, that's, that's it. That's the process. So now you can go ahead and play your music. I will go ahead and try to make a little jam with this. We'll see what happens. <laughs> 